It's day 39 and hill sprints, hill repeats, are on the agenda for the day. We uh, had a good run last night and uh, planning to do six miles today on lunch. I am changing uh, clothes in the car like normal on my lunch runs. Um, and so I figured I would kill two birds with one stone, give you the updates on what the day looks like, and also change clothes. So um, we, uh, it's gonna be a six mile run, so we're gonna do two miles of a run, just kind of an easy pace, um, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then we'll go into two mile repeats, or not two mile repeats, yeah, two mile, two miles worth of hill re repeats. So ultimately, I'm gonna run about a quarter of a mile uphill, solid, and um, then turn around and run down a quarter of a mile. Um, that'll be a half mile total, do that four times. Now the only exception to that is I may change it up because the hill that I'm actually looking to run uh, I have the ability to run a half a mile up. So depending upon how that first sprint goes, I may do half mile up, walk back down half mile, half mile up, walk back down. So it would just be two repeats, but I feel like it would be better because I'm pushing the sprint out longer. Um, and so that, that's my thought process anyway. I may call coach on the way to uh, make sure that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna drive over to a spot that's about two miles away from the bottom of the hill, park there, and then um, run two miles to the hill, do the hill sprints, and then run back to my car where I park. So. I think it's gonna work. We'll see how it goes, hopefully. Um, so I can usually do six miles in about 50 minutes. So hopefully with the hill sprints, um, it won't take too much longer. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And I'll let you know after, as always. Hey, what's up? So, doing hill repeats. I'm on my way back down a third time. <clears throat> so I got one more, one more hill sprint. So I'm doing quarter of a mile up and back down. So, Um, the road that I'm running, no shoulder. It's not a heavily trafficked road, but when there are cars, it's tight. But uh, can't beat the view. It's like a tunnel of shade. So I definitely welcome that on this day. But anyway, I got about a tenth of a mile left to the bottom. And we'll sprint it one more time and then be ready to run back. Got two miles back to the car after I get done with this last sprint. And the uh, the road running back to the car is pretty, pretty hilly itself. So I'll still get some continued hill training. But anyway, let's get this last 
a couple hundred feet down the hill and let's give this last spring all I got. Well, I'm done. That was uh, quite an interesting, um, interesting run. So I think I may have got shorted a few tenths of a mile. Um, There's a lot of trees, which was really nice because it was shaded on the hill um, that I ran. So there was no sun for the four intervals that I ran up the hill which is super nice, but I think I lost a few tenths of a mile because of that. Um, but I did a 6.14 according to my watch. Um, average pace was 924, but um, I ran up. So I ran two miles. I ran up the hill all the way. It was technically a half a mile, but the first probably 15 tenths of a mile was kind of a little up and then a little down. It didn't really hit a steep incline. And so what I decided to do was start there for my hill intervals. So when I came back down the hill, I stopped before I got to the end of the road or the hill. And I just, I stopped at the end of where the decline was. Um, and then I turned around and went back up. And I did walk. The first time I went down, I ran, um, kind of jogged down the hill. Um, but the rest of the times I walked down the hill majority, uh, and then I might have jogged the last tenth of a mile or something the rest of the way down the hill, but I was trying to save my quads as much as I could. Um, first two intervals, I hit pretty hard. Third one was probably a little, um, a little pulled back just because it was so, um, it was intense to be honest. It really was. Um, and so then the fourth one, I tried to go all out and, um, tell you what, um, running that last few couple hundred feet to crest the hill, that right there is hard. I tried to run to the top of the hill and then go over it, but, um, oh, hey, good how, are you? good, how are you? Good. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, you too. So, I don't know what it is, but when I run on lunch, longer distance, I just, I feel so depleted. So, I broke my rule and I got a burger because it was free in the app. That's where they get me. But I did get a burger, um, just a, a single burger, no side, no fries, nothing. Um, and this is just a slush and a water. So, just to kind of cool me down. Anyway. Um, but the run back from after the hill intervals, I had a two mile run back. To be honest, that was almost just as hard as the hill intervals because a lot of that was uphill climbing back up. And, uh, that was a grind, but, uh, got it done and pretty stoked, um, to have this one under my belt tomorrow, I think is an easy run. Um, it may be an easy four or five. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, and then Saturday, is a 12 miler and right now it sounds like myself nathan and tyler are going to get together we're going to do 12 miles um not sure location yet but um it's going to be it's going to be fun <laughs> but anyway so run was good today take care